Today, protests are set to continue after two days of street clashes brought Israeli anger right up to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's doorstep, demanding he reach a deal to free the remaining Israeli hostages in the Gaza Strip. The spark that ignited this anger, the discovery of six dead hostages in a tunnel in southern Gaza over the weekend. I think everybody uh, feel like they have to do something. One of them, American-Israeli Hirsch Goldberg Poland, whose funeral was held yesterday. Okay, sweet boy, go now on your journey. I hope it's as good as the trips you dreamed about, because finally, my sweet boy, finally, 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 you're free. President Biden asked about Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Do you think he's doing enough? No. Two people briefed on the discussions telling NBC News that Biden may offer a final take it or leave it deal to Israel and Hamas as soon as this week in hopes of reaching a ceasefire agreement. <laughs> Yesterday, Netanyahu directly addressing the families of the six murdered hostages saying, I'm asking your forgiveness that we didn't manage to bring them back still alive. But remaining defiant, saying he won't give way on his demand that Israeli troops remain on Gaza's southern border, a key sticking point in negotiations. Hamas saying in a statement that in response, it would send other hostages back in coffins if Israel's military campaign continued. Also releasing this video of one of the six, Eden Yaroshalmi, made under duress before her death. Her family approving airing of part of the video, Eden telling her family she loves and misses them. On Sunday, Eden's father touching his daughter's coffin as he mourned. Matt, the anger is so palpable. And, and part of this is because of the timing. These hostages were executed quite recently, and there had been a deal so, so close. Is that what is driving the anger in Israel? Yeah, that's right, Savannah. A lot of the anger here on the streets of Tel Aviv is focused on the fact that just before, you know, the, just before these negotiations, there were supposed to be some of these hostages released in some sort of hostage deal. And in fact, as you mentioned, you know, the autopsies, autopsies show that 48 to 72 hours before their bodies were found, they were alive. They died because Israel and Hamas weren't able to come to a deal. And even though Hamas pulled the trigger, a lot of the folks here who are on the street, they say that Netanyahu is to blame. Matt Bradley in Tel Aviv, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.